Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about vacation capsule packing and everything that you need to have a complete wardrobe on your trip and be able to mix and match a ton of pieces and accessories without bringing way too much. Okay, so when I'm traveling, I like to be really comfy. Obviously on the plane, my go-to is a matching sweatsuit and I usually put a tank top under so that as soon as I get to the new place that I'm going, I can just take the sweater off and be ready to go. Typically, I go for something gray, so I would do a sweater like this, a matching pair of sweatpants, a white sneaker on the bottom, and then with that, I'll wear my fanny pack. This will carry my phone, my passport, all of the things that I need, and then underneath my hoodie, I'll have just a basic tank that I can wear again on my trip many times, but just knowing that I can take this sweater off and have this for when I get somewhere hot is good. Along with that, usually when you get to a new country, you wanna just change into an outfit right away. Your room might not be ready. You wanna just have shorts to change into or a bathing suit. So I would pack something like a sweatshirt in my carry-on, an easy pair of sandals, like this, and a pair of sunglasses for sure, along with either a bathing suit or a tank top as well that I can just throw on. When I'm traveling, I don't travel with more than three pairs of shorts. When it's really hot, I tend to go towards uh, dresses or skirts. So I'll bring two pairs of jean shorts just for excursions, going to the beach. So I'll do one black pair, one blue jean, and then I'll also bring a dressier short for the evening, like these, and I like them in a light color. These are a crepe material, so they're really light in the, in the hot weather. So I have three bathing suits here. If I'm going on a vacation for a week, I would probably bring about three to four bathing suits. I typically do one, one piece and then two, two pieces. So this one I love personally because I could actually wear it as a bodysuit with a pair of shorts over in the daytime. So just really versatile. And I think the key here is knowing that you don't have to pack too much when you bring key pieces because you're able to mix and match so much. And then with that, I'll also bring a few cover-ups. So these are my favorite pants. Got these in Spain. They're really cute to just go over a bathing suit, especially something like this for like a boat day. This would be very, very cute. I also have a dress. Something like this. So this can go over any of your bathing suits. And then for those beach days, don't forget your beach bag. So I usually have something very cute like this with a little fun detail. And then I have a little scarf like this. This is from Amazon. I love it because you can put it on your bag or when I'm at the beach, I wear it as like a little head scarf. So I put it around to keep my, my hair out of my face when it's windy or when I want to tan, um, but this is really versatile as well. The key when you're packing is to really bring mostly basics, things like this, like a white button down, knowing that you can wear this in the daytime and in the evening. Also, maybe one pair of light jeans. I would go with really light jeans because you're going somewhere hot. And then knowing that if it's colder at night, you can throw this on with a little tank top and maybe a sweater and be good to go. I love packing in really fun pieces, mixing and matching with my basics. So I have a bunch of basics here, but then I have fun things like this fuzzy neon top uh, that I can wear with shorts like this. I can also wear this with my jeans. I can wear it with jean shorts. And I really just wanna make sure that I'm packing things that I can wear multiple ways. Okay, so if you're doing like a fun excursion during the day, maybe ATVing or something, I would bring something like this. It can be a one piece, it can be biker shorts and a t-shirt, whatever you prefer. This is my favorite because I can wear it so many different ways. I can do this with sneakers for the excursion or I can do this in the daytime with a white button down over and a little sandal. It's really comfortable and really versatile and it'll go a long way in your suitcase. Shoes tend to take up a lot of space in my suitcase, obviously. So I'm really strategic when I'm packing shoes. I usually wear my sneakers because they're the chunkiest. So I wear them to the destination and then home. 
I'll bring one pair of nicer sandals for evenings. And then I'll have one pair of sandals that I can wear at the beach that I don't mind uh, getting dirty. These are actually really good for, for walking through the sand. And then I would bring one nicer pair of sandals that I can wear in the evenings. So then I have three shoes that I can rotate through in the evening. And then I can also wear these in the daytime if I want to. But like I've said a few times, the key to not packing too much is wearing things that you can wear tons of ways. So my favorite thing to bring is obviously a black dress. This is Skims. It's perfect for daytime, evening. You can wear it with sneakers. You can wear it with a little heel. So you can definitely dress this up. And then you could pop over like a little blazer or a jean jacket if it's colder in the evenings. This will take you really, really far on your trip. So I would definitely bring a black dress. If you're planning on going on a fancier dinner, I would bring something a little bit nicer. So I love this because of the details. I love the colors, the patterns. Along with that, I would also probably bring a cute matching set. This one's my favorite because I could wear this top to the pool if I wanted to over my bathing suit, or I could wear it in the evening with a little heel and feel really fancy. So this will also go a long way. You could wear the pants with a white tank top. For accessories, I always bring a little bucket hat. I personally find that I have a really small head, so I need hats like this. Some people can do those bigger, wider brim hats. If you can, perfect, I would bring one of those. I would also bring a few evening bags. So I love something like this, it's like, you could only use this on vacation. I typically bring two nicer bags, so then I have a little mini one like this. It also comes with a longer strap. I bring probably two pairs of sunglasses that I can interchange. I'm also really worried about losing them, so I bring two. For jewelry, I'll probably bring maybe the two bracelets that I'm wearing, a few pairs of cheaper earrings, and then, of course, your beach bag. I think it's important to have a few basics as well that you can change through um, for tops. So I have two um, tank tops. This is a white one, black one. And then of course you want a white t-shirt. This is great because it can go either over something like this, or you can wear this with a pair of your shorts tucked in. For the evenings, if it gets a little bit chilly, I would bring something lighter weight, but long sleeve like this. This is really cute because of the color. It's a little two piece set. Okay, so let's style some clothes. Okay, so this is my go-to airport outfit. I'm so comfy, I can fall asleep on the plane. I know that I can take this off if I get hot. Um, and then my sneakers, I'm wearing them. I don't have to worry about packing them in my carry-on because they take up a lot of space. And then bringing my fanny pack with my passport, my phone, my wallet, everything actually fits in here. This is something that I would wear just in the morning to go get breakfast. And then I would go back to my room and change into my bathing suit. I have my sunglasses, my little bag with everything in it. This is my favorite beach outfit. I love wearing a one piece like this and putting over some lace pants. You can find these literally anywhere right now. They're really in. And then I used my scarf as a little headband and have my little beach bag and I'm ready to go. This is a great evening outfit. If it's a little bit chillier, I have my uh, long sleeve knit, but it's still really lightweight, so I won't get too hot. These shorts go with literally every outfit. I would pop on a cute heel like this and a fun bag, and then I would be ready to go for dinner and the rest of the night. This is one more outfit that I would wear in the daytime, just grabbing breakfast or maybe going on an excursion, um, popping on these basic shorts with a basic tank and then putting something a little bit dressier and colorful over it just makes it feel a little bit more fun for vacation. And for the final outfit, my favorite dress ever. This is the Skims dress by Kim Kardashian. I love this dress. I'm super comfy in it. I dressed it up for this outfit as something that you can wear for a dinner with a little heel, a nice bag tied my hair up just to dress it up a little bit more, but you can totally wear it with sneakers and a jean jacket during the day and still feel really, really comfortable. All right, those are all the outfits and I'm ready to head on my next vacation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our socials. We'll see you next time. Bye.